here, uh, just working on the Zeroli DC3 today and I thought I'd show you guys um, just some of the materials I use when I fiberglass this bad boy. Um, so at the moment, and for a couple of players that have been using this stuff, is the uh, West Systems Epoxy. It's not an advertisement either, I just use this stuff. And I use this Slow Hardener. So the Slow Hardener gives me plenty of working time when it comes to actually laying up the fiberglass um, and getting all the air bubbles out and then putting the peel ply on and use something that's, uh, they do a fast hardener, which I use for a lot of the uh, joints, uh, high strength joints I need. Um, sets a lot quicker, but that's still sort of 10 hours, but yeah, it gels very quick. So the pot time of the hard, of the uh, fast um, hardener is, uh, it gels quite quick and it's not very good to work with. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be doing, redoing the, the those of you guys that see my last video, uh, we had a few air bubbles on uh, this section which I've gone and smoothed out. I've got the razor blade and just scraped them out and the material is sort of just disintegrated. Uh, and I've just gone over that with the final sand and then I've just brushed this nice and smooth. Get all the crap off, make sure that um, there's no bits and pieces on there. So that's all gone really well. My next plan is um, I would then prepare all the materials. So I've got to prepare the fiberglass, lay it up, make sure that it fits nice and well. And then I've got my peel ply, which I cut and, and add. So basically it's a mock-up. So um, I've cut that material. I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm just gonna lay that over this. So the trick with this too is to make sure you just run that fiberglass over the edge. And when we use the epoxy, we're going to actually uh, run over that, that because what happens is if we don't, we'll get some glue that won't quite catch the end and we won't have a very, uh, very sort of uh, continuous margin along there. It'll sort of be a bit flaky um, and you'll have to sort of probably put some more epoxy there to harden it up. So we don't want that. So always run it over the edge. Means we can just get a razor blade when this stuff's sort of gelled off and just go whoosh. Yeah, makes it nice and easy. So, so these are just pieces of fiberglass that I will overlay just because I just had these as scraps. Didn't want to really go too crazy cutting a whole new sheet. That bit there, we might just hold off on that bit. I think it'll just fall over. Uh, and we've got the parts here so just lay this over in sections because like, if it's a big just one big piece you'll find that it'll actually uh, crinkle and the air bubbles and, and everything maybe that's why this didn't work so well I did use a bigger piece of this I think I used th uh, two pieces on my last try so so just run that over you can overlap it a little bit the biggest problem is if we have any exposed wood when we go to do the paint job uh, if we haven't fiberglassed it, that paint's really going to take up, soak up into the balsa and we're going to get a poor finish that's going to crack. The um, fiberglass tends to hold it all together nicely and give us a really nice continuous finish which is important when it comes to painting time. Um, in, in a couple of attempts I found this out the hard way because I've left a little, little bit that wasn't quite done and you go back over it and you try to fill it and all that, it just never comes out right. So important to make sure that everything is overlapped thoroughly. Um, so I know I've got some a good continuous finish here. So we're going to finish that there. Make sure on the sides that looks good. And I've prepared the uh, the peel ply ready to go. So um, I'll mix up some uh, some of the epoxy, and we'll make a start on the whole glassing process. So we're ready to go. I've got my trusty gloves on. We're going to mix up the epoxy now and we'll lay all this up and, and get it happening. So for this, we need, I probably need, I'm just guessing, maybe two squirts of the hardener, two squirts of the resin, okay, and then we're gonna mix that up. So just gotta, just a piece of scrap balsa here. Uh, I just cut the end with the razor saw. I find if I snap a piece off, you end up with little chunks of balsa in the actual mix. Um, which is a pain when you're fiberglassing and you get that 
get right into the corners with this stuff. Just give it a really good mix. Get your uh, balsa and just scrape it off. Give it a, another mix. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, so then we've got the trusty squeegee. We've laid the first piece of fiberglass on there. We're just gonna pour some of this epoxy on there. And then we're gonna work it into the, um, into the fiberglass. So just that first, that first initial bit and the, the, the fiberglass cloth is just sitting there. I don't try to work it into the fiber as much as I just try to get this epoxy just around the area to hold the sheet down. I'm not going to go too close to the margin because I'm going to put another piece of glass there and I don't want it to stick. Okay, so lay it up. Try to make the overlay or overlap not too big. Just a little bit of epoxy on there. Just try to wet it down um, if I want to move. Just try to wet it down so it just stays where you need it to so you can do the rest. Okay, so now we're going to put that other, other sheet. It's a pretty free cut. So overlap, you can overlap it a fair amount normally, but because this is my second go, this has already got a layer of the fiberglass on it. So I'm trying to get it sort of so that it's uh, not too, not too bad. More resin on there, we'll let that come down. So looking pretty good. I'm going to turn this around just a little bit so the epoxy doesn't run down so quick. And you just see, you can just notice where there's no epoxy. It just looks like it's uh, a little bit white. So anything you don't, like if there's a margin that you don't want to have to worry about cutting or anything, you can just not epoxy it. Like if I leave that, we'll just be able to like sand that off. I'm going to overlap it a little bit, especially this interface here. Great, so just check to make sure there's no sort of dry spots anywhere. I can't see any, it looks good. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I'll put the, uh, the peel ply on now. So it still looks a bit rough. Don't worry about that, peel ply will help out a lot here. So just try to lay it on, get the start of it happening. Let that epoxy sort of grab it. And then just drape the rest. If you don't drape the rest, you'll be there forever trying to get the crinkles out. Okay, back to the trusty spatula. You see that all that 
All that is extra resin there, so we're just spreading it around. Distribute it around evenly. And any any left, any excess will bring out the bottom. So now if you have a look, um, once we've completed this, we've got our peel ply layer here, our fiberglass. I've cut it a bit fine. I probably could have come a bit further along the margin here. But if you see what I mean about the um, just just running that epoxy just a little bit over, um, when I go to cut that, it'll just cut real neat. Um, and it'll mean I have minimal sanding. Um, I've gone ahead and done the rear portion as well. No air bubbles, it's looking really nice. Alright, and we're basically done. So I'll just go over this, I'll give it another look. I'll go around that side, um, have a better look and see how that's going and then um, it's just a matter of letting it dry, so this stuff uh, sets, I find that um, because it's a bit colder now, so it's probably sort of 20 degrees Celsius here at the moment, it'll take, and overnight it'll cool down, it'll take quite a while to actually firm up, so, um, you know, probably tomorrow sometime we'll come back out, have a bit of a geese at it, see how it's going, and um, I'll show you guys the peel ply coming off, and hopefully we have got no more air bubbles, so, awesome. Thanks again for watching, and um, I hope this helps guys out that want to have a crack at the fiberglassing and um, yeah we'll talk soon thanks guys